your, your name might have not been called on the big stage, but you still got the opportunity. What was it like just, just getting that call? Yeah, it was a <clears throat> big sigh of relief. Um, you know, obviously was staying tuned the whole entire day yesterday, just kind of waiting to hear from a team and um, got a call from my agent. Uh, saying that the Buccaneers wanted to sign me and um, had 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 been talking to a few other teams in the week leading up to it. And uh, honestly, um, <clears throat> wasn't sure who I'd end up with, um, you know, how, how this thing goes. Um, <clears throat> so definitely was uh, super stoked and just excited when I got on the phone with him. And, you know, he let me know that, hey, the Bucks want to sign you and uh, uh, you're going to Tampa. So I was I was fired up. And I'm sure uh, you had some family and friends with you. What was it like? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, it was uh, my parents and uh, my fiance. So we uh, we just sat down and watched it and uh, let them know where I was going. And uh, they were super happy and just excited for me. That's good. And you got training coming up next. Uh, what do you think it is specifically that's going to, you know, help you stand out and, you know, possibly get signed? Yeah, I definitely think um, for me, one of my biggest attributes as an offensive lineman and player is uh, I feel like I'm an athletic player. Um, and I think that stands out when you watch me play. So I'm hoping that that can carry down to Tampa and uh, be just one of those factors to uh, <clears throat> help me eventually, obviously, make the team. And I'm just looking forward to every opportunity moving forward. And you mentioned a little bit in your, your previous interview when you're training. The, just the, the ability to play multiple positions. Has there been any, any talk or discussion about where you'd possibly best fit in? Um, not yet. We haven't really gotten into the details and stuff. Um, I look forward for that um, more this this upcoming week. Yeah. And I guess pertaining to that same topic on your end, do you feel like there's one position that you'd be better off or be best suited for? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm willing and open to play whatever position they need me to play. Um, I definitely think I see myself as an interior player, um, as a guard. Uh, I've been working on center and, and, and obviously as a center. Um, I've been working on that for the last year. I haven't played it in my career, but something I've been getting prepared for. Um, so I definitely see any of the interior positions, but if they need me to jump out of tackle, I can do that as well. So wherever they need me. And just moving forward, what's kind of the next steps for you? Yeah, so just uh, <clears throat> finding out the details and stuff of uh, kind of when rookie minicamp is and um, when I need to be down there when I report, um, that type of thing. And uh, <clears throat> so just, yeah, the details and stuff, continuing training, uh, getting in shape, um, obviously <clears throat> staying hydrated and uh, trying to prepare for the Florida Heat the best that I can. I um, was down there training this off season for the pro day, and uh, it's definitely different down there than Indiana. So. Uh, just trying to get ready for that. And you mentioned a little bit about your your good friend Danny in your last interview. Has there been any talk with him? Any words of encouragement or any, anything? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, his message to me the whole time was, "You just need an opportunity, and um, once you get that opportunity, make the most of it." And so the opportunity is there. So uh, <clears throat> my biggest thing is just uh, working hard and competing every single day, um, and just proven the type of player that I, that I am. Um, and then obviously just, like I said, going and getting better every single day. So that's, that's just kind of, you know, that's always been my motto. That's been his motto as a player is just going to work every single day and putting your best foot forward. And uh, so that's kind of been reiterated uh, from him that, Hey, it's the same thing in the NFL. Um, you're just on a different team. So. And the next step is just proving yourself, self, just putting the skills out there. What would it mean for you just to, to make this big move? Oh, it'd be a be a huge blessing uh, to make the team. And um, obviously that's that's the goal. So um, that would just be awesome, awesome, uh, awesome experience. Last night was just an awesome, awesome experience and uh, been uh, looking for that and waiting for that for a long time. A lot of years of hard work and dedication have uh, went into that moment and um, I know a lot of hard work and uh, dedication and years of experience are going to go into any future moments. So um, obviously just continuing to get better every single day. That's kind of my motto. So, yep. Perfect. That's all the questions I had. Any questions from you, Jay? Yeah, obviously, uh, Curtis, you're going to join up 
a team that is two years removed from a, a Super Bowl title. You're joining a team that has a future Hall of Famer, probably one of the best quarterbacks to ever play the game. How excited are you to, to just join a roster that, you know, is, you know, proven, you know, what they can do and, you know, be able to, to join and, you know, play in front of a guy like Tom Brady too. Yeah, that's a, that's an awesome experience. Um, looking forward to it big time. I know offensive line wise, they got a lot of veterans up front and uh, got a lot of great experience, great players um, that I can learn from and uh, <clears throat> learn the tricks of the trade and uh, just just benefit a ton from being around. So looking forward to getting down to Tampa and getting to work with those guys. For you, uh, just to, to be able to, to make your mark and show your impact and you know, what is it that you feel like is going to be key for you to, to be able to do that and be able to kind of stick around? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing, just in the sport of football, I'm just talking in general sport of football, you got to be consistent um, and you got to show up every single day ready to work. Um, be, just be uh, <clears throat> flexible as, a, as an athlete in any sport. Um, whatever, whatever is needed of you, whatever is requir required by the team, you got to be able to adjust and, and fill your role, however that may be. So just um, what it comes down to is every single day just coming to work, uh, trying to get better, and um, just giving 100% effort. So that's, uh, that's always been my motto. My staple is uh, who I am as a person in life and also as an athlete. So I don't, um, I'm going to take that down to Tampa, and it's going to be the exact same. Yeah, and obviously, uh, I know you didn't get to hear your name called, but uh, you know, be the first kid from Aussie in a while to you know sign with the team, get a chance at an NFL roster spot. Just what's it mean, you know, to you know to represent Aussie and to represent Norwell High School, and you know have a chance to to make it to the league. Yeah, it's just an awesome experience. Um, you know, had a great upbringing in this community. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Love the support that I've uh, got the last couple of days, and just. Um, Everybody sending a text is saying that they're praying for me, uh, proud of me, um, and that you're just going to stay stay up with me. Um, and I just uh, – I really appreciate that a ton. Um, a lot of people from the Ball State community um, have hit me up as well. Um, so definitely just had a great upbringing to get to this point, and um, I look forward to hopefully making them proud moving on in the future.